My name is David Havlin, and I'm the Entomology and Pest Management Farm Advisor for UC Cooperative Extension in Kern County. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to identify and monitor six spotted thrips and use that information in your spider mite management programs in almonds. Feeding damage from web spinning spider mites can cause leaves to stipple, yellow, and eventually defoliate. However, almond trees are very resilient to damage, and yield losses only occur after severe tree defoliation. In these cases, losses are seen the year after damage occurs. When making spider mite management decisions, consider the number of spider mites and the predators present, as well as information like the timing of harvest, tree stress, the presence of dust, upcoming weather, and logistics, such as irrigation scheduling or the opportunity to incorporate a miticide with a pesticide application for other pests, such as a hull split spray for navel orangeworm. Presence-absence sampling is the traditional method used to monitor for both web-spinning spider mites and their predators. Begin monitoring for spider mites in mid to late March by dividing the orchard into blocks that can be managed separately. Select at least five trees per block to sample. Walk around each tree and choose 15 leaves at random from both inside and outside the canopy. Use a hand lens to examine both sides of the leaf for the presence or absence of both spider mites and their predators. In California almond orchards, common spider mite predators include six spotted thrips, the spider mite destroyer beetle, the western predatory mite, minute pirate bugs, and lacewings. Record the number of leaves on each tree with spider mites, as well as the number of leaves with predators. A sampling form that contains treatment thresholds based on the results of this presence absence sampling can be downloaded from the UCIPM website. Currently, the main spider mite predator in California almond orchards is six-spotted thrips. Six-spotted thrips feed almost exclusively on spider mites, are good at navigating tight spaces like spider mite webbing, thrive in hot, dry climates, and can quadruple their numbers in one week. The six-spotted thrips adult is a small, slender, pale yellow insect with fringed wings. Adults can be distinguished from other thrips by the presence of three dark spots on each wing cover. Our recent research shows that using yellow 3x5 sticky cards is a highly effective method for monitoring six-spotted thrips. We recommend using at least two cards per orchard and placing them near navel orangeworm or peach twig borer traps for convenience. Use a binder clip and an uncoiled paper clip to hang the traps at a height of about six to eight feet near the edge of the tree canopy. Begin monitoring for six-spotted thrips with sticky traps in mid-April. Check the sticky traps weekly through August and record the number of thrips on each trap. The spider mite destroyer beetle may also be caught in the trap and can be recorded on your monitoring form. In April and May, there is no need to treat for spider mites unless at least 25% of the leaves have mites and there is less than one six spotted thrips per trap. Beginning at hull split, three six spotted thrips per trap per week suggests a break-even point where there is an even chance spider mite numbers will go up, down, or stay the same. If there are six six-spotted thrips per trap per week, mites are almost guaranteed to go down and no spray is needed. For more information, visit the Almond Pest Management Guidelines online at the University of California Statewide Integrated Pest Management Program.